Here's an extended elbow shot for you. Happy Monday to you. If such a thing exists. Hope you all are doing well. I don't care. Thank you to all of those who have reached out, checking on the Divine Miss Lee. She is still on the mend. She's not out of the woods quite yet, but the uh, C. diff is gone. And we praise God for that. I'm smoking. My Phil Rivara billiard with Robert McConnell Scottish Flake, which is a fine blend. So, what's been happening? I don't know. Y'all may remember that uh, several months back I did a video talking about Jeeps and how they used to be for wrangling through the mud. Chomping down the beach, jumping over hills. That's what it was years ago. Now they're basically just an Uber for rubber duckies. And how it bothered me how you go down the road now and you see these Jeeps and there's like 47 dad gum rubber duckies in the window. Well, a couple of months ago, our uh, minivan was having some mechanical issues that need to be repaired. We were going to be without it for a little bit. And a friend of mine offered me their spare vehicle, which turned out to be a Jeep Wrangler. Now, I asked him straight up. I said, are there rubber ducks in the windshield? He said, nope. He said, I've been given a few, and I've kept them in the windshield, but I've taken them all out. I said, okay, well, then I'll accept your offer. So we've been driving the Jeep, actually helping them out for some uh, space issues at their house. They don't have room to park the Jeep right now, so they haven't been pushing us to return it. And my dadgum feelings are hurt. Because I've had that dadgum Jeep for two months now and ain't nobody offering not one damn rubber duck. Not one. Hadn't been one on the windshield. Hadn't nobody walked up to me at the grocery store. What the hell's wrong with me? Ain't nobody offered me a rubber duck. It's still a Jeep. Is it just because I'm driving and nobody wants to give me a rubber duck? Sit down, dead gummit. And then, and then, and then, if rubber duck is in the windshield, in the wind, on the dashboard, aren't enough. A few weeks ago, Miss Lee and I were driving back from our daughter's house. And we came across this picture that I'm going to put up here for you. 
two guys on a motorcycle. And on their helmet, they have bunny ears. Now, I know, I know there's such a thing as furries. I never paid much attention. But, you know, motorcycles are, are supposed to be, I don't want to say masculine, because lots of, lots of, of ladies drive, but ride motorcycles, but they're still kind of rough and tough, they're supposed to be rough and tough, right? You got a helmet, you got your leather, you got your chaps, you got your boots, you got your patches all over your leather vest driving down the road, blasting running down a, running down a dream by Tom Petty. When the hell did it become stylish? To wear furry rabbit ears on a motorcycle. Stop it. Getting on my dad gum nerves. I'm trying not to have a wreck because I'm laughing so dad gum hard at these idiots with bunny ears riding down the dad gum highway. And they weren't riding Harleys, it was a Yamaha or something like that. I don't they weren't Harleys, because you know a Harley when you hear a Harley. But it was so funny, I had to take pictures. In the words of Buford T. Justice, once again, what the hell is the world coming to? Folks just ain't got no sense. I don't know. Maybe I'm not supposed to understand. And y'all know, I, I don't work too hard at overthinking. But when you see rabbit ears, furry rabbit ears on a helmet, you're like, somebody, somebody's mama messed up. Somebody's mama said, yeah, sugar, you just go ahead and do whatever you want to do. You just wear your little bunny ears on your elbow. Ain't nobody going to think you silly. <sighs> well, anyway. Whatever. It's a fantastic pipe. From Phil Rivara. This was a gift to me from Mike at Briar Blues. And it is a fantastic pipe. And Robert McConnell's Scottish blend is a fantastic blend. Get you some. And this is the flake. You do a cake too, but this is a flake. I'm kind of flaky instead of cakey, so I prefer the flake over the cake. And a mistake I did not make. You have to read a lot of Dr. Seuss to do that. Right off the top of your head. Just wanted to pop in and say howdy. You folks be well. Be humble. Be grateful for all that you have. I'll see you again soon.